And they built the UAE, they really built it on the American model. After you were in Copenhagen, you talked about what kind of life you wanted for yourself. Yeah. I fell in love with Lisbon. I've lived in Guinea, Cameroon, Cape Town. My fiance is from Norway. I've lived in Canada for the biggest chunk of my life. The US, now in Portugal. I fell in love with Lisbon. I've lived in the Middle East, Lebanon, Qatar, Kuwait, Saudi Arabia, the UAE, where you have like seven lane highways. You can't really walk anywhere. You go from AC to AC, usually in a car. They have like metros in the UAE, but if you get out of your house to get to the metro, you have to cross a seven lane highway and then you have to walk even for five minutes you're gonna be drenched when they built the UAE they really built it on the American model at the time they looked at the US and they saw big car parks blocky buildings huge highways and they were like yep that's that's the way to do it if you've been to Qatar you can tell the ozone is completely gone your phone will basically tell you to go inside because of the air pollution in the summer I don't see myself living like that after you were in Copenhagen you talked about what kind of life you wanted for yourself yeah. On a bike, one of the pets in the front, and you bike into the coffee shop or something to work for a couple of hours, yeah. having your brunch and your alone time, and then biking back. I would definitely love, love to have something like that, like a bike where I can transport. Uh, my daughter, my pets, go to a bakery, coffee shop, whatever. Uh, we live in Lourish. We have bike lanes. But the yeah. problem is you have bike lanes in Lourish and that's it, it cuts. You can't leave Lourish. I actually bought a stroller that's big enough so we can have groceries in it. So we won't have to take the car. We got the double stroller. Groceries on one side, baby on the other. Yeah. She's like a big 